Hey, what's up? This is Ross, and I am uh, back for a um, an opinion on uh, my opinion on the um, new teaser trailer that was released um, uh, with my team's the Seahawks, my team's victory over the Super Bowl. And yeah, I had to put that in there. And sorry that won't be talking about it anymore. But yeah, we did win the Super Bowl. So, anyways. Um, my opinion on the review of the of the new Transformers 4 teaser. And um, so, all right. Um, that sh you'll get one word from me that describes this entire trailer. Dinobots. Yeah, they finally put them in. And um, while I can't really say much about the trailer... This is, we're going to get, you're probably going to get guesses from me of some of the characters in this. And, um, uh, what you're going to get is, uh, mainly what everybody else is doing. Just basically guessing what this teaser is, is mainly about. Okay. So what we, we have some of the actors, some of just one actor that I know of in this, and that's Mark Wahlberg, who is a new addition to, uh, the Transformers uh, series, and, um, way, way better than Shia LaBeouf, thank God we have someone that can actually, that can actually act in this, and stuff, and, and, uh, you know, because I didn't really think Shia LaBeouf was very, all he did was scream throughout almost all of, all of them, and, you know, um, the only thing Mark Wahlberg is screaming about in this tra in this teaser is just for his daughter and stuff, so it looks like he has his daughter in this, who Michael Bay loves to put in these kind of like um hot looking girls in his in his movies. So uh yeah, obviously the girl looks really you know, one of these hot, you know, model looking types. And um So what we have in this trailer is Optimus Prime getting absolutely uh his ass handed to him in one scene where he gets shot point blank in the chest. And um the other, the first part of the trailer shows a massive, gigantic ship that, to me, looks like the Revenge. And I'll, and I will explain what that is after I tell you what character I think pilots it. And um, so, in the next scene, we have a uh, a transformation from a transformer that turns himself into a gun. Okay, my opinion is that this, we finally get Galvatron in this film. I think he is the new Decepticon leader. Megatron got his ass handed to him in the uh, last Transformers film. It would be more than, more than obvious that they would want to put the next guy in charge in the Transformers Decepticon uh, and mythology, and that would be Galvatron, who is actually um, just as strong, if not stronger, than Megatron, and much more um, gravitas, much more, um, much more um, a powerful presence than Megatron was. Uh, Galvatron is Megatron times two, basically. He is twice as as um as dramatic as megatron twice as uh, as um as powerful as megatron and twice as vain for his leadership as megatron is basically this guy is the next best thing to be the leader of the decepticons uh in my opinion uh than megatron is so uh so Megatron will always be the best leader of of the of the Decepticons, but Galvatron is the next best thing to a leader for the Decepticons than Megatron is. All right, now the other t the other minutes, of course, we see Slag, which is the giant Brontosaurus, uh, the giant. Uh, um, I believe he was the the Brontosaurus of the. Uh, of the um the Dinobots and then we get 
And then we get uh, Swoop that looks like uh, that might be Swoop. I don't know. It's either Swoop or Snapdragon. It has two, he has two heads. Maybe they did an upgrade on Swoop and made him have two heads or something. I have no idea. And then we have um, then we have Snarl, which is uh, the um, the Triceratops of the of the group. And then we have, of course, the leader of the Dinobots, which is Grimlock, who has a badass entrance in that uh, in that teaser, which was probably my favorite part of the whole damn teaser, where Optimus Prime just gets you know, um, just rides on Grimlock, on the back of Grimlock, and just forms this awesome sword out of, out of his hand and stuff. And it, yeah, as soon as it, as soon as they showed that, they, they already took my money. I mean, that was it. And I am totally waiting for this because I am waiting for what everyone else is waiting for in this series, is how are they going to show the birth of the Dinobots? I want to see them show that. And if they don't show that, it will be a travesty for the film. Because you have a chance to show some more magic that was left in the first one when you saw the entrance to the Autobots. Now you have a chance to get that magic back in the series by showing the Dinobots. You know, that would be just a good opportunity to make this just not only... Just another Transformers film, but to make it a good Transformers film, you know. <clears throat> All right. Again, we saw Optimus Prime, and he gets an upgrade in this. Now, to me, he looks more like um, like Super Optimus Prime from uh, and a bit of uh, a bit of the Prime mixed together. Transformers Prime and Super Optimus Prime put together and rolled into one. And that looks more like his upgrade. He gets a new cab, and he gets a um, he gets a brand new weapon system and everything like that with his gun, with his sword and stuff. And um, let me tell you something right now: that the, if the Dinobots are in this, just because the budget is lowered in this film, does not mean that just because the Dinobots are in here, there's not going to be a shitload of mayhem and and madness in this movie. This is Michael Bay, for God's sake. He's not going to trim down anything just because he has a lower budget. You can expect a shitload of explosions, and that's exactly what you got in this small trailer. You got a shitload of explosions happening right in the second scene of the of the trailer. You got a massive, insane explosion happening right behind Mark Wahlberg. These are what these actors are supposed to expect on set on these movies. This is exactly what you're going to get in Transformers 4. It looks absolutely epic. It looks absolutely amazing. And I think that this, if it's done well, it might be the best sequel out of the whole entire franchise. So that is my opinion on Transformers 4. July 27th, um, I mean, excuse me, June 27th, 2014. Get ready, the Dinobots are coming. So... Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Transformers. 30 years, man. 30 years of my childhood watching that... Uh, 30 years of my childhood watching that uh, watching that series. Incredibly incredible series. Grew up with it. Spawned off many series, including, uh, not to mention Prime, Transformers Prime, which is off of my head the best spinoff. Amazing series. Can't believe it's 30 years old. I'm getting old. So, see you later. Thank you for watching this preview. And, um, hey, can't wait to see a, a, a bigger trailer. So, we'll have to wait. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you like my videos.